Hey guys, Joshua Bainsack. I want to show you a demonstration and an overview of the AOKP Milestone 2 ROM for the Galaxy S4, the Verizon model. And so basically just boot yourself into recovery. I like to use Clockward Mod Recovery. I've had the best luck with that one. And I've actually used it ever since the first droid, so I just kind of have a loyalty with the Clockward mod, so that's what I like. And like I said, it's given me no issues, so I really like it. It's a cool one. That's the one I recommend to use. An easy way to get that is to download ROM Manager, and it'll install for you, but this is what it looks like if you're not familiar with it. Clockward mod recovery. This is version 6.0.3.2. Alright, so this is what you're going to want to do to get it set up. Basically, make a backup if you haven't already. I have a backup already, so I'm not going to do that. And you can use that at the backup and restore option. And I like to use the backup to external SD card. But for this, I am just going to skip right ahead to the installation. And the first thing you're going to want to do is wipe data factory reset. Let that do its thing. Usually it doesn't take too long to do this process. The next step is you're going to want to wipe your cache. Alright, that's complete. So go back to wipe cache partition. That shouldn't take long either. Most of all, just don't be in a rush. Always kind of do your research, know what you're doing, follow guides, all that kind of stuff. If you have questions, go to the forums before you start doing anything. That way you just know what to do. The next thing I like to do is to go to the wipe and Dalvik and wipe that one. And that usually only takes a few seconds. So once you're done with that, hit your go back, install from SD card, and I have everything on my external SD card, so choose zip from external. And usually the downloads will all be at the bottom. So you're going to actually have two downloads to do. You're going to have the ROM itself and then also the Google Apps. So make sure that you have both of those downloaded. I'll have those file downloads in the description, so be sure to get both of those and put those both in the same location. That way it's just easier to locate. But the first thing that you're going to want to do is download, I'm sorry, install the ROM, which is going to be the AOKP and that long name there, uh, Milestone 2. That's the one that you're concerned about. So hit OK and so let it do its magic. When I had the Galaxy S3, the AOKP was definitely one of my favorite ROMs. I just like the look of it, the feel of it, the customization that you get from it. Just always good stuff from AOKP. I like their style. It's really good stuff. While this is downloading, I'll just kind of talk about some of the other ROMs I've tried out. I've tried out just the normal development ROMs like the um, Eclipse ROMs, both the Google Edition and the TouchWiz. Both are great ROMs from uh, that developer there. I've also tried some original development from Liquid Smooth, which was that's a great ROM in itself. So there's just a lot of good stuff out there. Be sure to check out the XDA forums for all the releases. Uh, lots of new ones coming out, new developers jumping on board. Good news is that 4.3 is on the way for a lot of ROMs. There's some um, ports already for the Galaxy S4, the Verizon model. So stay tuned. Once uh, some more solid, stable stuff comes out, I'll probably be downloading those and you'll be able to see a video. And this is saying that it's complete, so easier process. Sometimes you get like a little animation that the developers put in there, but you're going to want to go in next and download the Google Apps. Because if you don't, you don't have a Play Store and you can't download apps. So you're going to want to do that. See so Google Apps or G Apps. Just make sure that you always download the right versions. And it 
it shouldn't take too long to do this either. Installation complete. So there you go. Just go back and reboot system. And this is where the pretty stuff comes up. You get to see the new boot animation. You'll start out with the Galaxy S4 one and then you'll see this cool little one come up in a second. Kind of get this Google Edition X. Sometimes the first uh, boot animation will take a little bit longer. The next time you reboot your device it should pop up relatively fast. Alright, so here's our welcome screen. This is what the stock Google is going to look like. So it starts. It's going to search for some Wi-Fi connections. And you can skip that if you want to. Now if you're on a tier data plan, you probably want to connect to a uh, Wi-Fi source. That way it doesn't eat up your data. Now I'm going to skip anyway because I'm still on unlimited data. Yes, you can be jealous. <laughs> Alright, so you can log into your Google account. I'll do that real quick and be right back. Alright, now signing in, you're going to get your backup restore option. It's going to restore. Basically, it kind of gets all your account information. And what you left off from last time, which is going to be like, you know, brightness levels, even apps and things like that. Location services, just hit check. And your setup is complete. So just hit finish. And this is going to take you to the initial home screen and kind of give you a welcome it says make yourself at home you can put your favorite apps here and down here at the bottom to see all your apps touch the circle so just kind of like intro level beginner level introduction just hit OK and this is what the very first look of AOKP Milestone 2 looks like you're going to get your simplistic minimalistic clock you can kind of scroll back and forth you get about I think five pages here to choose from and it starts out with a power widget which I'll end up getting rid of that and I have desk clock widget so I'll probably set up my home screen a little bit different but just to kind of give you an overview of what to expect one of the best things about this is that you'll actually start getting your apps that's loaded from your Android account loading up to your phone with actually actually having to manually go in there and downloading so I really love that aspect it saves you some steps I do use Titanium Backup, which it saves all my apps, but at the same time, I don't have to wait for that. I'll be able to skip a few steps, and you just get a lot of nice just shortcuts like that with this kind of ROM. In the app drawer, it's got the page style, which it looks neat. If you keep on going, you get your widgets, and you got a shortcut to your Play Store up the top. I'll show you what that looks like. And this is what the Play Store looks like. Hit Menu, My Apps. And you can see that it's downloading some of them. There's some updates, manual updates, and up-to-date apps. So basically just let the Play Store do its thing. But let me just give you a tour of the other options. Your dialer is going to be really cool looking. I really like this dialer a lot. Of course, my call log is going to be empty for now. And then you have Contacts here. And it's going to start out with your favorite contacts at the top, which is neat, and then the rest of your contacts at the bottom. And as your account information loads up, you'll start seeing pictures of your contacts, all that good stuff. Here's your shortcut to the contacts app, and this is going to be all of your contacts, and you have groups. I like to use groups a lot, and then, of course, your favorites off to the right. And as I said, your pictures will start showing up whenever the contacts are fully loaded. The messaging app is really cool. I really love this mes messaging app. It's got a nice look to it. Um, the keyboard actually changes to like a black style. So this is the Google Keyboard AOKP style and you kinda get this dark background. Looks really good. You can get to some settings. Let's see what the settings look like for your messaging. Some of your basics group messaging, delivery reports, your sound, vibration, you get breathing SMS which is pretty cool 
It'll give your SMS notifications a breathing effect on the status bar, so it kind of like pulsates. There's some other awesome options here. You got Emoji support. A lot of people love that. So there's just really awesome updates for the AOKP. And your browser is going to be, you know, basic browser. Automatic Google will sign in when you sign in. So that's all good. Let's go to our system settings. Kind of go through those real quick. Now because I've had AOKP installed on this before, one of my saved options was dark AO. KP and I had that turned on so it's remember that which is really cool I like that look a little bit better as you can see this has that blue hue to it it's okay but it's not my favorite so I like the dark one the best but what I want to show you is one of the differences let's see if you like the white background for messaging you're going to want to turn the dark AOKP off so and it changes your keyboard a little bit too, if you notice. It turns it back to the normal Google keyboard style. So there's just one of the great options about AOKP. So you got ROM control, you got your about, general UI, lock screen, power, just tons of customization. Just take your time, go through all these settings, make your phone look the way that you want it to look. That's one of the best things about Android is that you get to make all kinds of options and customizations that you can do with a rooted phone. Uh, just really awesome stuff. You got a themes option. If you download a theme you can install that. You got device options, sensors, haptic, sound. Just so much to do with this phone. It's not even funny. You get sound. I'm just going to go through this main options. Display storage, battery apps, location access, security, language input, backup reset. Some of like the same options that you're going to see on your phone regardless. Get your accounts and super user permissions, date, time, accessibility, developer options, and about phone. Let's go to about phone just kind of see all the stats. You got AOKP statistics, a nice little addition that you get with AOKP ROMs. Legal information, all that good stuff. So you're going to get your Android version, which is the, this is 4.2.2. Got your baseband, kernel, and this gives you the name of the ROM and your build number. So that's our about phone. And this is the basic settings. Like I said, just take your time, go through all the options here. Just so much to do. It'll actually probably take you a couple of hours just to go through it all and get it just the way that you want. Let's look at the notification pull down. You're going to notice that it's just really smooth, looks nice. And you have the Wi Fi pop up here. You can turn that off if you want and this is your tiles right here so you got your different tiles you can set up and you can actually change those the way that you want these are just what it comes with and you can look at it in a couple different perspectives All right, so this is your initial lock screen and it's just gonna be your basic lock screen you can just unlock it like so or you can add different stuff to it and you can swipe over here and add a different widget or you can go all the way to the right and it's set up to have the camera go on so if you want a shortcut to your camera you can do it this way and this is the Google stock camera so if you are in the Galaxy S4 you are going to miss out on the touch with style but you still got a lot of good options and for your camera so just kind of like a preference issue I like Google stock the most so this is what I'm going to stick with the for the time being at least until some more updates come out with other ROMs and I'll try those out but back to the lock screen in part of the system settings you can set up different lock screen options to where this will open up whatever app that you want or however you put it on there so just set it up the way you want but this is basically the overview of what you're going to get for the AOKP Milestone 2
If you have any questions about this RAW, feel free to ask in the comment section. Please subscribe to this channel. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Until then, this is Joshua Baintech. I'll see you in the next video.